and you come and it opens automatically. Okay. When I first moved in, the, the table was in this little cloth and the bed was facing this way, so I rearranged it. Yeah, I've been in jail, I've been I've been in shelters, I've been in rehabs. I, I have problems where my sisters don't talk to me. You know, we don't talk. Almost never. People know that you're homeless. They know if you're a drug addict, they know what you are by your body language or by, just by the way you look, you know, the things that you carry, the clothes you have on. So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah. I think uh, being homeless is worse than being in jail, to be, to be honest. Just hang in there. I am, I will. Very stressful. And then what, you're trying to look work, you're trying to look for, to better yourself. It's like, you, you, even though you try to change your personalities, like say for a job interview, you can still see it. Like the person that's talking to you, interviewing you, they can see it even though you don't, you don't think you're, you're, you're showing it. But they can sense it. Like this guy, something's, in, something's going on. And sometimes it turns, um, you know, employers from, it turns them away from you because they can just sense the stress. They can sense there's something not right. Well, it's hard because, you know, even when I have had jobs, you know, I'm paying everything just to eat and sleep somewhere, you know, so. Uh, and sometimes you can't even afford it, even if you're working on full time, so. After we went to COVID, everything went up. Rent, rent's going up, uh, jobs, uh, um, they're not paying enough. <laughs> and then I got a backpack uh, blower, and then I have my weed eater, my gas can, and uh, a little rake there, so just in case I gotta rake something. You know, but hey, I'm, I'm at least trying to work, you know, trying to do something. I can't, I can't live off the government. I mean, they don't, they don't really give enough to you to, to, you know, keep you on your feet or keep you indoors, you know. <laughs> the city has 1,100 shelter beds and sometimes there just aren't anywhere for people to go. Those shelter beds are often occupied and full and the wait lists are very long and it, it creates a very difficult situation for folks that don't have anywhere else to go so they end up camping where they can. Um, the past six to eight months, we've kind of seen our numbers steadily increase. And here at Loaves and Fishes, our biggest gauge for that is our meal tickets and how many noon meals we're serving. So we're averaging somewhere between four or 500 a day, um, people coming for our noon meal. And that's um, just sort of steadily, steadily increasing. America's God, the dollar bill. It's the dollar bill, and it's showing itself. The way people are jacking up prices on apartments and things. $1,300 for a studio? I mean, come on, man. Come on. In order for you to get in, you will have to stay here. And then once you get past this And if you do lose it, it takes three hours to four hours for them to come and let you into your apartment. So when I finally moved out of the shelter and, and, and got my first place in, in Mattapan, I was so happy, so ecstatic. The apartment was so big. I was like, 
like I felt so free, like uh, tons of bricks were lifted off my shoulder. I felt like like part of society again. I was just so ecstatic. I was so happy. I was like, I think one of my happiest days of my life was that day. Because I went to visit. I didn't even. I wasn't even supposed to live there. I just went to visit. Ended up staying there for years and years and years. Very nice.